Tyler Grice with Sneaks Barbecue. Back here again doing another video. I appreciate anybody who tuned into the first one. It's a little off. We're learning a little bit about video editing, uh, how to do those things, but we're going to get better as we go and got a lot of tips from friends and family and we're just going to keep moving forward with it. So um, we're doing something different today. I've got a rack of bison back ribs. We're going to get those on the smoker. I've got it going 225. We've got the super smoke setting going on the Traeger Timberline 1300. Um, don't know anything about these, never cooked them before, but I'm going to do them kind of like I would beef ribs. So we're going to do mustard binder. I'm using a fire dancer barbecue uh, SPG, but it also has onion and butter in it. Thought that was pretty cool. They're out of Arkansas, so that's pretty cool. Check them out if you haven't used them before. I'll give you feedback on how the rub goes. It smells amazing. Um, got this rack at America's Choice Gourmet, uh, Carolina Beach. I don't know if you can see that very well but it's one of my favorite places to go. They got local farm raised steaks, Wagyu, anything you want. A lot of it's brought in and frozen. You just gotta thaw it out, but it's good to go. I love going over there, take friends and family, neighbors there, um, get a lot of good things and I cook it there. I did a Wagyu tri-tip there that I'm gonna do again on video. And it was actually better than any brisket I've ever had. So I'm probably gonna run one of those back and try to get that on film. A um, Couple shout outs, these black gloves. Love to rock the HDS brand from Home Depot, the dual layer nitrile. Uh, it's in the painting aisle. Check them out. I blow through these gloves when I'm seasoning meat and when I'm cleaning the grill, taking meat off the grill. These 80 packs, really handy. All right, so I'm gonna get going on this. I'm gonna put a little mustard binder on it. Get in there. Ahead and get that top layer rubbed down and do the bottom side first with seasoning and then flip it back over and let that set in. Now this does have a big membrane on it and anytime I'm doing pork ribs or anything like that we're always going to want to peel that membrane off. The easiest way to get that started on pork ribs or anything is either using a knife or a spoon, dig up underneath it, take a dry paper towel and then just pull that thing all the way back off of it. Uh, with beef ribs and ribs like this we're going to leave it on just to help keep that meat intact, um, help those cook a little bit better. Um, so I'm not gonna mess with this one today and we're just gonna see how it turns out. So I'm gonna go ahead and get a nice even coating on here. This has some really nice pepper in it. Make sure we hit that all really well, pat it in a little bit. Again, smells amazing. I think it'll be really good on this bison. Bison is pretty close to beef flavor. In my opinion, it does have a little more gaminess to it, but um, we're gonna find out on these beef back ribs that I do see a little bit of silver skin that they've removed as much as they could for us in the pre-cut. So um, I'm not, I didn't really trim these much, left a little bit of fat on them as you can see here, but we're gonna roll with it as is and just cook them and see how they go. Got us a good even coat on there, pat that one in. We're gonna let that sit for a little bit and we'll be back in a bit to get these on the Traeger and get them rolling again. I'm gonna cook these about 225 on super smoke, exact same way I would beef ribs. When they get a good bark on them, I'm probably gonna wrap them in butcher's paper, put a little beef tallow in there, let them go until they come up around the 200 mark, uh, until they're tender and we're ready to pull them off and let them rest and get into them. Thank you. All right, went ahead and threw these on uh, Traeger 1300. Gonna get them going. Again, uh, 225, super smoke. Gonna let them roll low and slow and see what we get. All right, uh, actually ended up doing another rack. Neighbor came over, I had another rack. We did one in the uh, Meat Church Texas Sugar as well. So we're checking these out, they look good. Starting to get a nice little red to them. Gonna start hitting them with the apple cider vinegar. Right. 
shut them down, let them roll. All right. Got the bark set in that we're looking for on these here. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull them off. I'm gonna give them a wrap. I think they're around 170, 175-ish. Um, we're gonna take them up to 200 like we would beef ribs. I'm gonna wrap them with some butcher's paper, um, pour a little beef tallow on them and get them going. All right. Go ahead and pour a little beef tallow over the top. Get these wrapped up. All right, we got these babies wrapped back up fully. Got a probe in them. Let them roll to around 200 and check them out. All right, so we let these racks cook up to temp. Uh, we wrapped both of them with uh, some beef tallow, drizzled it over the top, uh, Wagyu beef tallow at that. You can see this rack we did Texas style, um, came in super juicy. Um, obviously, I don't want to listen to that anymore. I'm gonna pop these open, take a look at them. Got a really solid bone pull on those. Really loving the way that looks there. Nice bark on the outside. Those babies are still real hot. Let's see what this other rack looks like here. These are looking solid as well. We did those with the Texas sugar. A little different, um, but throw those out. Go ahead and cut one of these off here. See what we got looking like on the inside. Meat looks solid, obviously a little different. We got a good, decent smoke ring in there. Again, this was bison, never cooked it before. So like I said, I don't know what to expect. Give it a little bite for you, see what we think. Mm. Actually pulls off kind of just like uh, just like beef ribs. Very tender, very good there. Um, got a little fattiness on it. Pretty excited about it, so we'll see um, what the family thinks, what the neighbors think. But uh, thanks again for tuning in, Tyler here at uh, Sneaks Barbecue, and we're gonna keep this thing going. Um, get better at it as we go. I'll do some things talking about other random things you know your preference if you like to use a binder or not obviously on that butt i didn't do a binder it's the first time i haven't done a binder in a long time but i like to try different things out appreciate you watching uh, if you like what you're seeing please like and subscribe and uh, we'll keep this thing going shouting out local companies um, got one here on my hat that i really love uh, seafood company right down the road um, the old sea view sea view uh, crab company Great place to go get some local seafood in Carolina Beach and um, take care of local people and keep the communities growing. Thank you.